Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, Luna looks so cute right now just laying on her bed. So I was just looking through my recent videos that I have uploaded onto my channel and I realized that I haven't really given you guys a personal and flight attendant life update video since May. And obviously a lot has happened since then. A while ago here on YouTube and on Instagram, you guys gave me great suggestions of just different random pictures and videos that you wanted me to to share sort of like behind the scenes or just more personal things. So I'm gonna sprinkle those throughout today's video as well. First, a flight attendant update. I do have a few more trips this month that I am really excited about. The one I am most looking forward to though is I'm going to Honolulu again, but this time I'm flying with one of my best friends. Her name is Tiffany. We are working the same trip. We already have plans for that layover. So I think that is going to be awesome. And then actually in September, I am hardly flying at all. I'm doing a lot of other things, which I can't really talk about yet um, because there are just some really big projects that I am working on and looking forward to I'm doing some major personal travel. September I have my annual vacation time so I'm going on a trip with my sister during my vacation week. Eric and I are going on a trip together at the end of the month. I'm not going to talk about now but you guys will find out more about that later. Please share a picture or a video of a really fun day that you had this summer. So the first one that comes to my mind is definitely when my parents came into town for my birthday. Day. That was just such a fun day. We went to the zoo, we saw a baby elephant, and it was just wonderful having my family here to celebrate my birthday. But the next one that comes into my mind was actually when Eric and I got to take Luna to the lake with some of our friends. Please show us a video of what is in your fridge. I will show you all what is in our freezer as well. Here we have a bunch of meat that we get from Costco that we just freeze, ice. So we have some chicken tenders and frozen strawberries. Down here we have all of Luna's food that we keep frozen. I love these Yasso ice cream bars. Over here we always keep all of our milk. We have some salad and eggs. This is Luna's food. We do have to keep it refrigerated so we keep all of that up here. Blueberries and then this is all just like left leftovers from meals this week that we have had. Brats, these are so good. And this is some lemon juice. Oh, and that reminds me, it is time for my AG1. AG1 by Athletic Greens has truly become part of my daily routine over the past six months. I usually try to take it in the morning and I also bring the little travel packets with me on all of my trips. I genuinely crave this because it is just that good and I've noticed so many positive differences in my health. And if you don't know what AG1 is, I will tell you. It is nine health products in just one of these scoops. Put it into like 10 to 12 ounces of water, you mix it up and you just drink it daily. I truly enjoy the taste of this too. One scoop of AG1 right here is the equivalent of a multivitamin, probiotics, minerals, and more. AG1 is also very lifestyle friendly. So whether you are keto, dairy-free, gluten-free, paleo, vegan, it will fit into your diet and your lifestyle. AG1 has been such great partners to me and they're offering all of you as my subscribers a really great deal. If you click the link in my video description box below, Below, you will get a one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs for free with your first purchase. A picture from your favorite flight attendant layover. Okay, so as all of you know, Cancun for years has been my absolute favorite flight attendant layover. However, I have to say that Maui, Hawaii is probably right up there with being my favorite flight attendant layover. And I think specifically this trip was just the best because Eric got to go with me and we just had so much fun. Hawaii is absolutely beautiful. I just feel so happy 
happy every time that I'm there. Please share some pictures of Luna when she was a puppy. Oh my gosh, you guys, Luna was just the absolute cutest puppy. I mean, she's still adorable, but I feel like she was extra cute as a puppy. Please share with us some more gymnastics videos. Okay, so if you are new to my channel and you didn't know this, I was a gymnast for 17 years. I did it from the time that I was four all the way through my last year of college. Gymnastics was my absolute passion. It's my first love. It was just, it was everything to me. And it was really hard for me when I retired from the sport, but I feel like I have found new passions now. I competed for the University of Denver from 2013 to 2017. And Eric was on the soccer team. So that is how we met was just us both being in the athletic department at our college. But anyways, I'll insert one of my college routines right now. show another video compilation of Luna playing in bed. We love to see the Luna tornado. Uh-oh. It's the Luna tornado. Hey, Luna. Okay, come on. Luna. baby calm down do you have any baby pictures of you or eric that you could share i have saved some of the cutest pictures of eric as a baby on my phone he had the blondest and curliest hair he was such an adorable little kid i mean he's still adorable <laughs> obviously now but he was super cute as a kid too i actually found this on my mom's facebook and it's not just like one baby picture of me but it's a lot of different pictures of of me throughout my childhood. Gosh, she even has a picture of me where I was trying on her wedding dress in here, like a newborn photo, a picture of me at the beach. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I'm still a beach lover. Yeah, oh my gosh, these are cute. Do you have a favorite photo of yourself? Actually, I do have a favorite photo of myself. It is one from when I was a gymnast at the University of Denver. This was just after I had competed on bars and I did a really good routine. I was just so excited and happy and I don't know, I just think the photo like just really captures my joy in that moment. A photo or video of your favorite color. So my favorite color is definitely that turquoisey ocean blue when you can see it in the water. Oh my gosh, it's just every time I see that, my heart just like sings with joy. What is a random photo that you love? Okay, so I actually love this super random picture of Luna and I on the couch. Photo of your favorite leotard from college. Okay, so I actually had two favorite leotards in college. The first favorite one that I had, we named our leotards. We called this one Katniss and I loved this one. And then I also loved this other one that we wore for different competitions that we had named Superman. What was your favorite layover excursion that you've ever done on a flight attendant trip? Okay, so I would definitely say that my favorite and one that I probably wouldn't do again because it was just kind of like a once in a lifetime thing was definitely when I went swimming with sharks in West Palm Beach, Florida. This was such an amazing, but also slightly scary and terrifying experience. It was really, really cool though, but I just, I don't know if it's something I would do again. A photo of your favorite meal or a food that you really enjoy. Okay, so the first one that comes to my mind is actually this chickpea soup that I had in St. Thomas. Oh my gosh, I think I literally licked the bowl clean. Like it was so delicious. And then anything Eric makes from home is just so good. He is an absolute 
absolutely incredible cook. Yeah, I'm a very, very lucky girl. A famous landmark or historical place that you don't get to see every day. Okay, the first one that comes into my mind is the Panama Canal because that is definitely not a layover that I get often. It's not something you see every day and it was really cool. A flight attendant fail. Okay. I will definitely share this story with you guys. So there was one time when I was working first class, I don't even remember where we were coming back from, and it was a super busy service up front. The other flight attendant on the trip was helping me and I had turned around, I was like facing this direction and I, I was like putting together one of the meal trays or something and then I like, I don't know what I did. I did like a 360 and I turned back around and I didn't realize that she had opened the oven door and I just walked like straight into the oven door and I burned my arm right here. I can almost like still see where like the scar is. Anyways, I walked straight into the oven door and um, yeah, that sucked. It hurt so bad, but she was awesome. Like she helped me finish the service really quickly and she got out the first aid kit. We put the burn gel on and we got me all wrapped up, good to go. And I did have to go to the doctor. I had second degree burn on my arm. I think unfortunately I was actually like pulled out of my next trip too. Like the doctor said that I couldn't go, but obviously now I'm fine. But that is probably like my biggest flight attendant fail. <laughs> Share a picture of something candid. Okay, so this picture is when Eric and I first started dating. I think March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, we were only like four maybe three or four months into dating. And we were going to watch a Colorado Rapids soccer game on the 4th of July. And it's just a truly candid picture. And it's one of my favorites to this day. What is something that you consider to be a good luck charm? Okay, so I've talked about this a few times here on my channel, but every time I see a rainbow, I just know that is good luck and blessings coming my way. It's definitely a positive sign whenever I see a rainbow. And um, yeah, it's just a good sign for me. Going back to some personal update wanted to say that I am really happy right now I feel like I'm in a great place mentally emotionally physically I'm just feeling really good optimistic I am super excited about some of the things and opportunities that I am going to have later this year this has been a really busy but awesome summer but to be honest I am really looking forward to fall this year because my friend Tiffany and I we really want to go to Salem Massachusetts for kind of like a spooky girls trip uh, what else I, I don't really have much else going on other than I'm just trying to live my life day by day and have a positive attitude. I'm super grateful for all of you for being here. My channel has had a lot of growth lately, which is awesome to see. But yeah, I feel like in life, you know, you go through a lot of ups and downs and right now I'm on and up. So it's, um, Good. A picture of something that you bought that you didn't think you needed, but that you actually love. Okay, I have the actual like perfect example for this and I need to uh, take you all with me because I just have to show you. So actually Eric bought this for me and um, it's something that I really did not think we needed, but we use all the time. And it is this, oh my gosh, as you can tell, we need to use it because there's dog hair everywhere. It is this robot vacuum. Oh my gosh, we use this all the time. I think for both of us, our least favorite chore is vacuuming. So this thing has totally come in clutch and is probably one of the best gifts that Eric has ever gotten me. So I think I'm going to close out this video, but I did want to thank AG1 by Athletic Greens again for sponsoring my vlog. They have just seriously been great partners to me. So make sure that you click my link in the video description box below. And by doing so, you will get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope that you are having a fabulous day. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so I can see you in future videos. Oh, uh, what else? Yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.